Hey everyone, we're going to talk about a group of people known as the Lost Generation, this group of authors and writers of the 1920s. So before we start talking about them, we have to know, we have to remember that right before the 1920s, World War I was going on, which was the deadliest war in history for the world. We had all this new technology, all of this death, all these supposedly civilized countries in Europe and in the United States coming together and fighting each other over militarism, alliances, imperialism, nationalism. Those are the four main reasons why this war went on. So this group of authors and writers called the Lost Generation are going to start to question the values of Western nations, Western nations being European nations uh, Euro uh, America, uh, in America, for instance. So questioning things like democracy, uh, the uh, goal of having prosperity or wealth and success in life, uh, supposedly being peaceful nations, being civilized peaceful nations that European and American nations are supposed to be. So they would ask questions or th they would rather think, how could these nations like America, Germany, Great Britain, France, uh, so many others, Belgium, the Netherlands, whoever, be civilized if they are the countries that produce this deadliest war in history, this World War I. How could we be the most civilized nations? So they create these stories and works of um, fiction in their books. And they question these values of prosperity, of democracy, of peace, of Western values, American values. And they write about them in their books books like tender is the night by f scott fitzgerald a movable feast by hemingway the sun also rises by hemingway the great gatsby one of the most famous ones and still a famous book that a lot of 11th graders read today f, uh, by f scott fitzgerald as you see right here this is probably the most famous book so lots of uh new writing books um poetry that express this discontent, this disillusionment with American values, with European values, Western values, which come from the disillusionment, the unsatisfaction um, that many, many people have with World War I. So this generation of people, this generation of authors, exists because of World War I and its aftermath. Hope that helps, guys. Make sure you remember those authors, F. Scott Fitzgerald and Ernest Hemingway. They're most, the most important ones of the lost generation of authors and writers. Thanks, guys.